What's up everybody, it's Wapacha, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the Inquisitor Siege Ballista build and about the Assassin Poison Siege Ballista build. Now, the Champion Siege Ballista build, the Champion Elemental Siege Ballista build, still works incredibly fine. You're still going to be able to do very well in, uh, in high level content. Your damage may start to fall off a little bit, especially once you get start getting certain map mods and, you know, like additional resistances and then elemental equilibrium things like that but overall the build will do you very very well but someone had mentioned in a comment that you could easily go inquisitor with elemental siege ballista and while that idea sounds great on paper my initial thought process was you know you're gonna have to add a, a lot of travel points to your build in order to accommodate that and are those travel points really worth it? And they, they were, I mean, uh, they, they are for the damage, but I thought you were gonna be losing life. And I've mentioned this in my previous videos where players have a tendency of, you know, myself included, have a tendency of doing things over and over and over again, just because they're used to doing it. And something that I had overlooked, a really simple thing was that if I did start Inquisitor, one, I could use a fluid motion jewel. And this is something that I usually wouldn't do. So I didn't think about it because I usually don't do it. But using a fluid motion jewel converts all the strength in that area right between Templar and the Scion life wheel to dexterity. And this actually gives you a lot of dexterity and needing so much dexterity for Siege Ballista and getting 600 dex. This is, this is really good. In addition to that, I was also just used to taking the entire Scion life wheel because once you're at the Scion life wheel, it's fantastic, right? But when you're starting as Templar, you are grabbing those first nodes that give you life and mana regeneration, life and mana, but also you have access to discipline and training, retribution and precision. Precision being the node that is amazing for Siege Ballista because it gives you accuracy, it gives you dexterity, it gives you movement speed, and it gives you attack speed. Retribution is also pretty good because it gives you dex and intelligence, which your, which your build usually will lack a little bit, and it gives you 5% increased attack speed. While discipline and training is just flat out better than most 5% health nodes because of the 30 flat life that it gives you. So. I kind of just forgot about these things and I didn't realize you could do it as <laughs> someone pointed it out and so I looked and I'm like oh shit they were right 100% so the uh, user that said that I give credit to you because I looked into it and I've been playing it and damn there's a lot of damage in this build like a lot of damage in this build now of all the uh, siege ballista builds that could possibly be out there I think this build has the most synergy of all of them with aura bots. Now I had the opportunity to uh, play with a necromancer aura bot. They were pretty much a full DPS aura bot and my totems usually, you know, in that 50 to 60 K DPS range self buffed were all of a sudden, you know, 130 K in my hideout with nothing going. So I really should have checked my tooltip while I was doing this map, but we ran an excavation and we ran through it we we did run through it. I mean, the damage was insane. I think Inquisitor is going to have the most synergy with Aura Bots. And you might be able to land yourself one in the Essence League that's coming up. But overall, uh, the you know, big thing about Inquisitor is what what are you trading going Inquisitor with the, you know versus a champion? Well, champion, you're getting Fortify. You're getting a lot of you know good static defenses and essentially more effective HP. While Inquisitor, you're getting a lot of damage and you're also getting defense through the fact that you're shattering so many mobs and you could see that in this video i'm shattering practically everything i am freezing bosses often i am a bit low on hp right now but i am only level 88 and i could get more hp on my gear so it's definitely within reason to expect to have you know near 6k hp with this build and doing this much damage i feel completely confident in its ability to clear content and be relatively safe even even with the new content that we have coming out and especially in a uh, 
in a standard league. Hardcore, a little bit different, but in a standard league, this build will be extremely powerful and everything in Inquisitor synergizes so well with this, you know. Instruments of Virtue, essentially you're gonna be having 20% increased attack speed always. And then on top of that, whenever you use something like Val Haste, you're getting 50% attack damage. All of this is very, very good for Inquisitor Siege Ballista. But I want to shift gears a little bit, and I want to talk about the Poison variant of this build that I had uh, mentioned before. Now this is a Siege Ballista build that uses uh, the Assassin Ascendancy. You know, you go Deadly Infusion and Toxic Delivery. Right now, what I have is Toxic Delivery, and I don't have Deadly Infusion, so there's still a lot of damage in here. And, you know, I did a lot of things to test with this build. Um, I The damage is a little bit lower, you know, just to be upfront with it. The damage is a little bit lower than I would prefer, but I also kind of feel like I might think that because I played so much Siege Ballista, as elemental when you're elemental your damage is so front loaded but when you go a poison uh centered build your damage is going to be more on the back end of things uh you know you're you're not really shattering things anymore you're not really shocking things anymore and so you're obviously going to be a little bit more uh vulnerable to things like porcupines and detonate dead but your single target damage, I think there's there's a lot of potential here. Even in the face of the nerfs that we just got uh, with patch 2.4, you know, we have poison going from 10% of your chaos and physical damage over two seconds to 8%. That does mean it's essentially 20% less damage with poison. But with that said, I still think that there's a lot of potential here because the things that we are missing in this build right now one, I am short on frenzy charges, so I could easily get another two frenzy charges. Two, I am only running three siege ballistas. Uh, I could use a few more levels. This character is currently level 90, but you know I could still definitely have a couple more levels and use my uh, my passive points a little bit more efficiently. And then the other thing too is with the new bases that we have coming out like the steel ring the steel ring is something that i think will really help this build because um something that is actually really good for siege bliss is just adding flat damage that's why elemental is so good because you get so much flat elemental damage and you get things like wet on there but poison is based off of your physical and chaos damage so not only could you potentially get a steel ring you know that has a 9 to 15 physical damage rolled on it and a nice essence craft that either i don't know what we're gonna have on rings i i think i recall seeing an essence that would give uh, chaos damage which would double dip and then you could also craft chaos damage to attacks on each piece of your jewelry through elrion 7. so i think the potential is really there for this build and i think it's just going to have a very very high amount of single target damage uh, your damage will do just fine in um, in high tier maps. You may not one shot things with your siege blisters, especially. You'll one shot most things, but anything that has like more HP or higher HP uh, mobs. But also remember that in the patch notes, we are getting a increase of monster health in tiers four through twelve. But I think the damage is going to be perfectly fine. And this is more about I think this is more about boss killing and potentially doing it Ziri because it Ziri is something that you can't really do as Siege Ballista traditionally because your your projectiles almost always almost always hit the reflect and they one shot themselves and they will definitely do that as Inquisitor so a poison based build is going to be I think more about boss killing and it's going to be a little bit more niche and a little bit more hipster than normal but I think it's going to be working just fine, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, you're able to get so much crit uh, with Siege Ballista very easily because it's on a on a death bow, and you know, as of right now, without even having Deadly Infusion, this character has about 75% chance to crit. So if I get another power charge and I get Deadly Infusion, I'm probably going to be crit capped i mean I, I don't know off the top of my head but i'm probably going to be crit capped and then all of a sudden you know every single time you hit you're poisoning 
and you're dealing double damage on the poison. Uh, the, the one thing about this though is I am actually using a Cosprey's Will in this build. I did try Snake Bites, Assassin Gloves out, and I didn't really like it because they they hurt the duration of Frenzy Charges too much. Absolutely too much. But I am using a Cosprey's Will, and I'm using this with one curse on Blasphemy with a Haste Aura, and then I also have a curse in my Frenzy setup. So I have a Power Charge on Crit, Curse on Hit, Frenzy setup with this build, and this allows me to you know, pinpoint where I want poison if need be. I actually really like this setup and it works out a lot better than people had initially thought. So that's what's going on right now with Siege Ballista. Inquisitor, fantastic. Assassin, a lot of potential. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate it and I will see you in Essence League.